whatever you do, just go ahead and start. And know that if you start on a free platform, you can roll that into a paid platform down the road. Nice. So Holly, I want to bring this full circle. If somebody's listening and they're like, okay, I'm willing to give this a shot. What, what are like two or three tools that they should use? Like, how do you find the keywords that you should be using? How do you, what, what are some ways that people can get started really easily so that they don't have a huge bar? Cause I know so many people are just super intimidated. They're like, oh my goodness, I have to build a website. Yeah. So I think the main thing is, is whatever you do, just go ahead and start and know that if you start on a free platform, you can roll that into a paid platform down the road um, pretty easily. And you'll have the money and the, and the more knowledge to do that. So just go start, like go start on Medium, go start on Blogspot, go start on anything that will get you publishing today. Um, and you, you know, you're gonna be able to add your, your custom URL and all that kind of stuff to that um, later on, it's no big deal. So go ahead and get started. And then when you're thinking, about keywords, like their SEO is not mysterious. SEO is not difficult. SEO is not hard. People are convincing you of that to charge thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars. You, you are an expert in SEO. We all search things a million times a day. Like I don't even like type in kids activities blog. I Google my own blog. You know what I mean? So that's like, think about everything. You ask Alexa, you ask Siri, you're doing all these things around search all day. You are the ultimate search user. You already know how this goes. You know what kind of words you would use if you were trying. And you know, we've all had that situation where we Google something and it comes up with stuff that's way off base. And so we go and Google it again. And then we go and Google again until we find what we want. So the absolute best thing to start with is Google. The funny thing about Google is it tells you exactly what it wants. So if you want to capture or like dominate a keyword or a keyword phrase, and by the way, the longer the keyword phrase, the easier it is for someone getting started to, to dominate, which makes sense because there's less competition there. But go Google it. Go Google the related phrases. All of a sudden you now have a keyword phrase and you have related phrases. Once you settle on something that is as close, like the results are as close to what you want to create, you're going to, you're going to Google that. You're going to say, yeah, that this is exactly kind of the stuff, just like what I'm about to create is you're going to go pull a lot of words from the front page of Google from that keyword phrase because those are the words that Google is telling you are related to that phrase. 